take it again. When you thought, ah, he has given you so much, he gives you multiples again. Amen. And I see multiple overflow Amen. taking place in your lives this morning in the name of Jesus. Amen. Doors are opened unto you. Amen. And you will enter the place of glory, God, that he emerged for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Barriers and hindrances that stop your father, that stop your mother, that stop your uncle, that stop your relation, they will not stop you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The power of heaven that rolled the stone away, that same power will roll away every barrier, every opposition in the name of Jesus. Amen. I've come to realize that people that are enthroned is not by their making alone. They may try, but there are mysteries behind enthronement. I command the mystery of heaven to begin to enthrone you this month in the name of Jesus. You have tried before, you have tried this, you have tried that. But the glory of heaven is coming over your lives, oh. Amen. It will not be by your own effort. You have been making effort. You have been trying. But more than your effort, the God of heaven will beautify your effort in the name of Jesus. Amen. This month is month for your enthronement. It's month for your increase. It's month for your abundance. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Your name is power.
bow down before you. Your name is powerful than anyone in this world. You are glorious and faithful in all your ways. We bow down before you. Lord, you will teach us your word. Open our hearts to receive from you. Let your word come with power for healing and for breakthrough. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done. We give you all the praises. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Yeah. Let's shout the winning name. Yeah. We can be seated. Thank you, the best choir in the world. Hallelujah. We shall continue our teaching on building capacities for greater tomorrow. As this month, the Lord is giving us great and effectual door. There are great openings. There are great opportunities. And by the grace and the wisdom of God, we shall enter there. And also I know that when we pray, prayer we move mountains. But there are certain things that prayer will not do. Prayer will give you insight in certain things. And show you, look. Then you need to go there, look, and draw the water from the well. As the Lord has opened great and effectual doors for us, it will cause us to see when there are adversities so you can command them out of your way, so you can rebuild them, or so you can by wisdom avoid them or command them out. So as the Lord is opening doors for us we must have understanding and that is why we shall continue what we are doing to build capacity for greater tomorrow I was listening to a popular minister on Facebook Dr. Miles Moreau and he was talking I don't know whether it's true but I know part of it is true. He said, the laziest people in the world, the laziest people in the world, do you know who he said they are? Who are the laziest people in the world? Eh? Christians. Oh, have you heard that thing from him before? To some extent, I believe but I believe in this church that has changed and it is still changing. He said the laziest people in the world are Christians. Because they pray, God give me miracle, give me miracle. I was ready. Give me miracle. They want miracle. Christians want miracle, miracle, miracle. But when they are praying for miracle, God is opening their eyes. As they look at the way, no, God just give me miracle. He said, They say, God, I want promotion. Let them promote me. Let them promote me. And the Spirit of God say, Okay, you know what? Go early. Go early to work. Finish your assignment on time. He will do more than they ask you to do. Don't rush to go at it when you close. Stay and do more. Go the extra man. He said, No, Christians don't want that. What do they want? Miracle. Miracle. He said, you will not get any miracle. And I listen and listen and I've listened to it more than four times. You must know that when God wants to lift a man up, he gives that man an understanding. Daniel 11, 32 and 33a that we read. 
Those that have understanding shall instruct many. What does it mean to instruct many? They shall become supervisors and managers. Those that have understanding of what to do. Hey, but me, I'm praying. Me, I'm praying. You are praying. God gives you an insight, but you are not applying it. And that is why building capacity for greater tomorrow, do not joke with it. Don't be a lazy Christian. Don't be a Christian with ignorance. You come to church, you are praying, 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 praying. You have prayed, go to work. You have prayed, go and make investment. And no, let me just leave my money there. And because and sometimes I'm going to use it, you are not using it now. No, invest it. Ah, let me keep it in this bank. Oh, let me be seeing it. You are seeing it. What is it doing for you there? You are not investing it. There are opportunities for investment all over, all over. Think of one. Don't say they told me they I don't want to do what that man said in the church. Do your own, but invest. So we must know that building your capacity will help you to enter into the door that is open for you and rule. You want to enter and rule. We have looked at different areas for capacity development. We'll continue. I don't want to waste time on it. We have handled about five or six. Last, last week, I shared about money. Everybody needs money, but money goes to those that multiply it, not those that need it. If you are not multiplying money, you will not be rich. If you are not multiplying money, you will not be rich. You must multiply money. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. And I said specialize in specific field of service delivery. What service are you doing? You are weaving the air. You are, you, are, you are a tailor. You design. Sometimes some people are not tailors. But they can design different fabric. Specialize in it. And market it. Now those are the two we did last week. Now today... We are looking at, I say, package your message with some element of humor. Package your message with element of humor. What does it mean, humor? Make people laugh. I may not be very strong in this area, but some people are strong in it. When they are giving message, they make people laugh, and then they pass their message. We discover in the world today, people love entertainment. People love to be entertained. And therefore also we who are Christian, we must find a way for us to be entertained. It's not entertainment per se. We are passing message through our entertainment. Look at the drama group. Look at the choreographers. You see people dancing choreography and they're using it to honor God. To show the majesty of God. The power of God. Our youths, one time they did a dance drama. And what they did was, somebody who had the Holy Ghost around her, and the Holy Ghost was guiding her, and then suddenly, the dress, the Holy Ghost gave her, she will leave Holy Ghost and be intermingling with the world. And gradually they were drawing her. And they were drawing her. They even removed her dress. And before she knew it, she was, she was in their snare, in their trap. Holy God was sitting there waiting. But she has gone. Maybe she loved their company. She used to go to their party. She loved to talk with them. And they drew her into the wall. And when she got there, she discovered that they were taking everything from her. Giving her nothing. So she started struggling to go back. It was a dark drama here. Struggling to go back. Struggling. And when she tried to go, they will push her back. When she tried to go, they will push her back. And suddenly, she was able to get to a place close to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit just did like this. And the demons fled. And the Holy Spirit embraced her. Dance drama. I'm sure some of the children, some of us may have forgotten, have not forgotten. 
Some of the children will never forget that. That when you are with the Holy Ghost, you are shielded. But the moment you are enjoying the pleasure of the world, you are enjoying the, 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 the drink of the world, the association of the world, you are being drawn away gradually from the Lord. The Bible says, enmity with the world is friendship with God. But friendship with the world is enmity with God. You are moving away from the Holy Spirit. Dance drama. So we must package our message with humor. We must package it in some. You see, some people go to the extent they bring comedian to the church. I don't believe in it. But sometimes, those people feel, let people relax and laugh. I won't go into that. I said dance, I said drama, dance drama, concert, special numbers. Lot of short drama are used on the net to attract people's attention. The drama unit, are you ready for us today? They are not ready. I say first Sunday of the month, they are not ready. First Sunday of the month, I need a drama here. Father, deliver the drama group in Jesus' name. Give them inspiration and the sacrifice to be a blessing to your body. In the mighty name of Jesus. All those things, you might say, which one is drama? Let's hear the war. Yes, we hear the war. But some people come to church, they want to see the choir sing. Some people come to church, the praise worship. They will be blessed. They will hear the word of God. So, so some people come to the church, they want to see short drama. Once a month, they want to see it. But why is that the talking of drama? What is drama? I'm a dramatist. Do you know Jesus was a dramatist? Oh yes. It's just that Jesus was always doing one man drama. Let me give you an example. And he was teaching them the word of God. He said there was a man who was going on a journey. And he had talents. And he gave one five talents. And he gave another one two talents. And he gave another one one talent. And he went on his journey. What was Jesus doing? He was doing drama. What is drama anyway? Story, story, story. Drama is storytelling. Jesus he said there was a time a man had a vine and he was going to the vine every time to see what, it, what fruit he can get from the vine. And alas, he didn't see anything. And he looked and looked and he went again, went again after three years, nothing. And he told the vine dresser, cut down this vine. Because this vine has not brought forth fruit. That was who? Jesus telling story. Then he said another time. There was a time. There were ten virgins. And they were waiting for their bridegroom. Who was doing this drama? Church? Jesus. One man drama team. So, do we believe now that Jesus was a drama member. Yes. So, when we come sometime, we must encourage drama. Of course, you know, some of you might know, I used to write drama, act drama. In fact, I was drama coordinator during my youth service in the old Cross River State. Not the one that is now small. The old big one. For the old state, I was the drama coordinator. And I believe God moved mightily in our time. We went to various communities. So, what am I saying? Your message. If you know you are a dancer, you are a dramatist, you are a singer, God will pass through it to reach out to people. Join that department. Join evangelism. Join choir. Or join drama. Join evangelism. Or join prayer team. Do something. At least you must be in two groups. What did I say, church? What did I say, church? Once you are born again, you're already in this church. If you have not been baptized, you should belong to the baptismal class. Then after, you must be in two groups to do something. Package your message with some level of entertainment. 
If you go to schools now, teachers will tell us, they will say, we are your visual aids. Teachers can relate with this. They say, we are the visual aids. You must show some, not just for you to write on the blackboard. There must be visual aids. You must display certain things. That is what? Drama. Because the children, when they see something, it's, it's impressing them more than when they hear. What they hear, they retain about 30%. So you need to repeat and repeat and repeat so that I can reach about 50, 60%. But what they see dramatized is impressed upon them. They retain about 80% of it. So the same thing I want us to encourage. If you don't have a department, join the drama group. Join the drama group. So drama group, they are owing us drama. If they can't do it today, next week, Sunday. And please, brother Solomon, know that I don't like story, story. Don't tell me story. I gave you this information long, long time. You're supposed to be meeting every Sunday. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. I said, God will help us in Jesus' name. So that is packaging your message with some elements of humor. What will make people relax and, and laugh? Second point, develop a charitable and compassionate heart. Part of the ways to make impact is to use your fund to help others. God has a way of paying you back and sustaining the vision. Develop a charitable and compassionate heart. Let's stay long with Jesus, for example. How did this start? Jesus was preaching in the wilderness. And the Bible says many people were with him. Thousands of people. And when it was getting to evening, the people would say, ah, it's getting dark. We cannot keep these people in the wilderness. We need to let them go. And Jesus said, I agree with you. They need to go. In fact, the, the disciples told Jesus, let them go before it gets dark. And Jesus said, yes. But before they go, they've been with us since morning. We have to give them to eat. They say, what? Where are we going to get food? Why did Jesus say you should, they should give them to eat? He had compassion on them. I will send them back. They will trek miles back. They will be tired. They will be hungry. Look at the world today. There is, especially Nigeria, food is so expensive. I, I know that that subject in Indomie, it was, it was 50 naira. Or was it 20 naira? That we one one Indomie we take. How much is it? 25 naira. That's the amount they are selling it now. Eh? 250 naira now. Before it was 50. That's what we can see. But let us look at a cup of Gary. How much was a cup of Gary before? 50 naira. How much is a cup of Gary now? 150. So that means one such as a Indomie now is bigger than that one cup of Gary now. Um, what of a cup of rice? Before, before a cup of rice. 60 naira. What of now? No, I'm not. I didn't say a basin. I say a cup. 400. So people are hungry. So, and when the Lord said, give them to eat, he looks at situation because that is what the world is turning to. We turn to. But because he, God, is God, the supreme monarch, he can bring forth food from anyone. He laid it in the heart of somebody. He said, feed my people since 2010. Some of our old mommies here, we remember. It was during a women convention in October 2010 that that thing started. And we have been doing it. 
But things have been getting more expensive, more expensive. The more things get more expensive, the wider the launch with Jesus is going. <laughs> Hallelujah. Before things were not expensive, we were giving it to Christ the rock alone. Even up to 2022, things were not too expensive. We, we extended it to those that invited me to come and preach. I will add them. And then things were getting more and more expensive. And last year, the Lord said, son, increase it. Now we have 27 churches. Launch with Jesus. Launch with Jesus. But things are getting more expensive. In fact, this morning, the Lord was telling me, that pastor that is helping you to construct the Ibadan church, get his church and add his church to it. And uh, Irene, my PA, you know I have two PA. There's the official PA and there's the written PA. I'm going to tell her, out of the churches that came for our concert, give me three churches. Let's add. Hey, that the which church will I say, ah, you know my PA again. Any three church you like, just add them to it. We are going to add those three churches to it. But things are getting expensive. My God is able is able i know is able i know my god is able to carry us through Ooh, our god is able is able i know is able i know my god is able to carry us through Ooh, for he has healed the broken hearted and set the captives free. He healed the sick, raised the dead, and walked upon the sea. Jesus is a boo. Is a boo. I know he's able. I know my God. Is able to carry me through. But that day, things are more expensive. Indomie Sanchez was 25 or 30 Naira. Now it's 250. That is when we are adding to the list. It doesn't matter the cost of cement, the cost of rod, the cost of sand, the cost of block. You will build your own houses this year. If God looked at assignment he is giving us, that even when the cost has more than double, almost five times, we are still faithful doing it. You yourself, I decree unto you by the authority in the name of Jesus, it doesn't matter the cost of food, you will not be hungry. Every member of Christ of Fandio Chapel, you will not be hungry in the name of Jesus. It does not matter the cost of cement, the cost of sand, the cost of chipping, the cost of rod. It doesn't matter the cost of labor. This year, you will build your own houses in the name of Jesus. The Lord has sent us to go and build cities for him. We are going to build Cornerstone City, Ibadan, this year. And the church will start this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to build more cities in River State. We are going to build more cities in Lagos State. I'm seeing our, our Yaya City being built. I'm seeing Ikeja City being built. I'm seeing the Austin Church, Texas, being built. I'm seeing the Washington Church being built. I'm seeing the California Church, USA, being built in the name of Jesus. When the people are saying there is a casting down, but you will say there is a lifting up. Have a compassionate heart. Give people to eat. In your, in your 
own area, in your small way. You to find somebody to give something. Hello, church? Make it a point. It's your worship to God when you give others. You know, last week, Saturday, not yesterday, when the Lord told me the previous Saturday, I was just doing prayer work. So then I got to room Okoro. Holy Spirit said, son, carry lunch with Jesus to all these people. Look at them. Actually, when I look at many, of, many people, many people are not well fed. Many people, the way they look. You know the different churches that we sent to? We sent to Oyo State, Oshun State. We sent to Lagos State, Bayelsa State, Abuja. I discovered that many of them that go to eat, they really need to be fed. Because when you look at them, and from my heart, say, God, I wish I can be sending every, every week, not just every month. God sees my heart and is able to make provision for his vision. I want you to have that heart to help people be compassionate. That was the beginning of the miracle of Jesus. He saw those who in need and he had compassion on them. So develop the heart of compassion. Develop the heart to help people. Hey, well, my money is not enough. Don't worry. It will be more than enough. In the mighty name of Jesus. That's point number two today. Number three. Be proactive and project into the next five to ten years for your planning. What do you want to be in the medium term and long term? Put a structure in place to get there. Do you want to remain a salary worker? No salary worker becomes wealthy. Only business owners. I'm not saying you should use the time for your work to do other things. No. But begin to think of what can I do. It's part of what I've been sharing. What other service? There's one of the teachers in our school. She wakes up in the morning. She will do pancake. You know when you hear the word pancake, pancake. But she changed her own name. She said her own is diet. Eh? So people say, what is diet? diet? Because they want to see what it is they will buy. And children are buying it. It was not affecting our work. I know some teachers, but not far from their homes, there are some empty lands that belong to somebody in their church, in their family, and they farm there. If you know you can do something, there are places you just say, ah, I want to be farming. And you are growing corn, you grow tomatoes, you grow pepper, you grow vegetable. One of our land, one of our mummies in one of our cities that is farming there. Small time, she will bring Gary to me and my wife. Small time, she will bring vegetable. Small time, she will bring watermelon. Small time, she will bring this. Then our pastor told me that's how she used to give them. That was a side business. Learn to do a side business. Learn to do a side business. Some of us, some of our children here, they sell Zobo. Some sell Shawama. Some sell Chinchi. Some send Bolly. Do you know Bolly? <laughs> Some send Bolly. Some people say, eh, Daddy, who are the people selling Bolly? I'm telling them to begin to sell Bolly. True of us. <laughs> you are still looking, who are the people selling Bolly? I'm telling them that you begin to sell Bolly. Some say Granot. I know some people here, they say banana, they are banana is fat. That sister, that woman is looking at me now. Banana is fat. If you want the best banana, contact our sister Tina. She will give you perfect banana. And granite. So do something. You 
you see, I was taking, talking to somebody yesterday. He came to the house. Our brother was there. And he was in the company that he was working. They just pressed him that they didn't want him to do. They said, look. I said, look, in, in the company I work, some people pressed me down also. They didn't send my children abroad. They sent some people I know, many people I brought. They sent them abroad. The staff and the wife and children. And the company was paying for their university, for their school there. But they didn't send me. I wanted them to send me. But I told myself the company will not determine how far I go. I told myself that. Even some of our ministers there. That were working with us, they knew the kind of conspiracy against me that time. It, people were they were not hiding it. But I like to tell you, since I left the company more than nine years ago, some of those people, when we stand side by side now, people will know that uh -uh, no, you know, the, the, you are not at the level of this man of God. Mm -mm, it is very clear. Because I hear about some of them. I hear where they are. I hear where they do. I discover Holy Spirit has given me speed. You must, I was telling that mechanic yesterday. Don't let that company determine your future. I told her, I told him, have you, big, have you started being in your house? He said, no. When I started talking, he said, sir, you see, I have bought land. But where will they get money to, to build it? Oh, the greatest thing is for you to buy land. Anytime you have 20,000, go and buy block, keep it. Anytime you have 50,000, go and buy block, keep it. Anytime, before you know it, you have up to 500 block. Come on, go and open the ground, dig it, and begin to pull your block. Begin to pull your block. Before you know it, the house is going up. It's going up. It is to get land is the major thing. And when you raise it, it gets to the Roofing level, then you now another miracle to roof it. But I, I know people in this ministry, when they moved to their house, they roofed only one room, one toilet, and, and not the kitchen. That's what they roofed, and they moved in. But now they are finished roofing, they are put window. I mean, they put cloth on their window. There was no window before. But today, they have windows all over. So the greatest thing for you to buy land, as they begin to save, and build your house. I told him, how old are your children? He said, the oldest is 10. Small, small children. Good for you. Before they get to university, make sure you have finished your house and you're parking. Before your children get to the university, park into your house. Because at the university level, the money you begin to pay no become chop. What did I say? No, become top. It's good to pack to your heart. I explained that to him. But I told him, don't let your company tie you to a level. They might decide that is your level. But by the word of God and the grace of God, tell yourself, I am higher than this level. I will not remain where you have kept me. The company want me to remain on job group four. That's senior engineer. I fought, 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 fought when I was there. They changed it. In fact, the people that were saying that was my potential, they transferred them. They removed them. You know, by prayer and by my own courage as well. Many times, where many will not be able to talk, I will talk. I will say, this is what happened. Look at my project. Look at my project. There was a time as a professional, professional I sent a letter to my engineering manager and I copied his boss. And I copied all my orgas before the engineering manager. All of them were sure. What is it? What is it? The engineering manager called me. I said, it's because they told me that uh, they are, you, the company is regretting recruiting me. And look at what happened. Look at what happened. I attached all the evidences. He said, yes, I've seen it. But why did you not copy my own boss? I said, sorry, sir, I didn't know. From that time, the engineering manager took notice of me. One day, he was going. I met him. I said, good day, sir. He said, oh, okay, come. See me in the office later. After lunch. So I went to after lunch. He said, okay, I want to send you to a department. Though they call it Sere, but it's HRG now. The company has been, they've looked down on those people. And we want to revive that department. You know, that's why we sent this head. Very high flyer person that was sent there that time. Obi, 
That's why we sent to be there. So I want you to go there also. He recognized me because of boldness. That's how the engineering manager sent me there. And it was when I got there, even though I've not gotten to the level of status car, I started using status car. My wife knows it. When she sees that, that car parked at, at, close to their shop, RV 1524DA. He said, that's Brother King. Jetta Executive. Tinted glass. It's for job group four. But I was still on job group six when I started using it. Then I parked like this. I get to the job. People know, ah, Brother King's in the church. When I find it, Brother King. <laughs> brother King. That slim, dark, tall brother. True of us. <laughs> Hallelujah. Boldness. If I did not show my stuff during the meeting I had with the manager and all that, I'm sure that he will not know because he was too far from me. This was the same man that started pulling me from this, move me to this, promote me to this, promote me. Please be bold. Hallelujah. What were we talking about? I said be proactive and project to the next five to ten years. No salary worker becomes well the only business owner. Select a side business to add to your salary work without jeopardizing your salaried work. Hmm. They employ you to pursue their purpose. You need to discover your own purpose and pursue it early. You are doing the salary work. It's going to help you. It helped me to have a financial base. I did not waste time. I did not waste their time. I did not waste their money. I contributed to the company. But my purpose was to be a pastor. And I was doing it since 1994 that I packed to my house. Just fellowship. First of October. No, I packed the first of October 94. We started fellowship. Second of October in my city room. 1994. Just doing fellowship. Just doing fellowship. 94 to when I joined the company. I was just six years in the company. 94. I was 31 years old. But I believe so much in that purpose, in that assignment. I bought this room in my city room. We begin to do fellowship. Some of the tenants will complain. I said, no problem. I will pay you your money. Get, you can pack out. So they kept quiet. It was a fine building. They kept quiet. The Lord will bless you and lift you up. The Lord will give you dominion and authority over situations around you. And that's what we've been doing until today. Even when share work stopped, your purpose cannot stop. Your vision cannot stop. Now, project into the next year what you want to be. There are a lot of online businesses you can do now. You can use your Facebook, do supply. It's part of it. There are some people who are doing educational institution and teaching children abroad they are using their they are using their phones and they get well paid do something in addition to your salary work project when will you be if you feel that's also time you to want to have a school or you want to have a transport company begin to buy plan to buy your vehicle now don't finish all your money Transport business pays. If you want to be a supplier of goods, begin to save money because they will give you a supply to do. They may not pay you in advance. You must use your money. And if you don't have any money, you can't do it. Just begin to think. Five years, ten years, fifteen years, where do I want to be? I told us the savings I was making for my children that they, I want them to study abroad, their university. I was not married when I was saving that money. And I saved it over the years as it was building up. Any project I needed to do, I would take some part from it, put into the project, take some part. And when the children were ready, the Lord he started doing great things. They got scholarship. I took part of the money. If a part of the money has been used to do with various estates. So plan yourself 
God does miracles, yes. But there is a daily benefit that God gives you. Utilize from it. The Lord will bless us in the name of Jesus. I said develop farms, poultry, fishery, pilgrim, and other husbandry ventures. These are things you can do. You can develop fishery. You can develop poultry. Now, when you want to do it, people will tell you, ah, that is difficult, oh, this, this. The truth is that there is nothing good that is not difficult. Pray, and when you see opportunity, tell yourself, I will succeed. People will say, look at this person, started it, and this will happen. Look at that person, started it. But are there people that succeeded in it? If some people succeeded, then tell yourself, you will succeed. It's not everybody that went into that business that failed. Why is it that you want to take the stories of those that failed? Even if you hear the story of those that failed, study it very well. You might see the reason why they failed. Study very well. You, the Lord can give you understanding. This is why where they missed it. But tell yourself, it's not enough to go from morning till evening and come back. Have a side business. It's very important. And, and I say, you can develop. There are many, there are many empty land. Look for the owner of the land. And tell them, please, sir, I want to begin to farm. The person can say, ah, we already have somebody farming there. I say, yes, I know, sir. I know that somebody is farming there. But, sir, that person uses only 40% of the land. Let me use another 50%. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. I know the land. And uh, this is the person who is using it. But that person is just using a small portion. Give me another portion. The man is saying, eh. Are you so sure of yourself? Uh-uh. I'm as sure as I know that Jesus is coming back. I'm as sure as I know that Mommy Stella Goroko is wearing blue blazer and white, white, uh, is it skirt or gown? I don't know. Eh? Kamiso. You are so sure that you will succeed with it. There are a lot of, lot of land. You know, it's in Nigeria that when you are driving from one city to the other, you see arable land, land that can grow, but what is there is what? Bush. When you go abroad, you are moving from one city to the other, you see land, it's farmland. You see the, the are ridges, you see the plant they are planting. They don't go synchronized in series, and you are traveling long, long distance. They don't allow land to waste. Hey, it's, not the, it's not my land. I cannot go. Some of those people are not using the land. Their children have gone. Tell them you are not going to buy the land. You just want to use it. And they, you'll be giving them a token. Just don't be lazy. When you pray for God for money, He gives you what? A seed. What does he want you to do with the seed? Plant the seed. When the seed germinates and you sell the fruit, you have what? Money. But many of us, we don't want that effort. Let money just come. Holy Spirit, Jesus, you opened the mouth of fish and money came out. Father, I pray, let money come out. Deceiving yourself. What did I say? You don't want to accept. You just want to get to the house. And money just get there. Are you doing money ritual? Is it not the money ritual they get to the house? They call the man. Augusta, money come. And the place will be full of what? Naira and dollar notes. Because he used Augusta to do ritual. You are not doing ritual. A guy prayed to God. God opened her eyes and she saw a well. 
the Lord told Abraham, anywhere you can see, I've given to you. And Abraham moved and saw different places. And the Lord said, I've given you. Did he possess it that time? He fought battles to go and dispossess those people and take over the land. There is an effort you must do. What did I say, church? There's an effort you must do to be rich. There's an effort you must do to be ready for greater tomorrow. Don't forget, we are building capacity for greater tomorrow. Many Christians don't like talks like this. They don't like the one that, hey, hey, I see a contract coming. I see a contract coming. There's a woman here by, by, by next week. It can happen, but not all the time, very few. And you know, in this talk, we will not go and arrange fake miracle. You know, people arrange fake miracle. They arrange it. Now go, go to tell somebody you come. You'll be doing like this. And they say, hey, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost has healed me. We will not arrange fake miracle. Why? We want to go to heaven. Because this is not the only place these things will end. I want to go to heaven. I want to take people to heaven. So there will be nothing like arranging any miracle. No. We will pray and wait for him. And he will do what he wants to do. In the individual lives, testimonies will be coming. And that's why I'm telling you, when God is going to bless you, he wants you to lay hands on something. The Bible says, and whatsoever you lay your hands upon, shall prosper. But what are you laying your hands upon? You wake up in the morning, you, you, you see some people, Hey, let me go. Let me go for morning prayer. We don't do morning prayer in Christ the Rock. They will carry their body and their leg. They are going to another church to do morning prayer. There are many. I know them. Or I know some of them. They carry their leg. They go to other church, do morning prayer. And they say, hey, hey, something was moving. They like, shut up. When we are prayed in the church, Hold on to the word of God. Go to your business. I believe in you doing business. Go to your business. Don't be lazy. Dr. My Muru say, Christians are the laziest set of people. Miracle, miracle, miracle. I was saying something. I said one lady. Every time you go to church. Every time. Fine. It's good to go to church. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Yes. But why not? You're a graduate. Why not begin to look for work? Hey, no, no, I know, I know. For one year, two years, three years, four years, five years, six years, you then you know, you know. But you need money for many things. You can't take care of yourself. Come on, go and walk. As you walk, God will bless the works of your hands. Don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. Do something. Whatsoever you lay your hands upon shall prosper. Learn to do a side business. Plan ahead for the next five years. Where will you be? If you are lazy as a sister and you are praying for husband, you just go to church. You do work. You go to church. You do the and you say, church, I know God will do something. God will do something. Maybe I should pray that you will marry a man like you. He too will wake up in the morning. He will go to church. God will do it. And we are waiting on God. He will not go to work. Hunger will deal with the two of you. What did I say? All the people who are doing well, their husband is working. And do you know many husbands these days, they want to see what will you bring to the table. Are you just coming to eat my food and give children? The more children you give, the more money I have to spend. Have you forgotten? So what are you doing to support the husband? What are you doing to support the husband? Meanwhile, husband is looking at, ah, this lady, okay. What will she bring to the table? Is she hardworking? Is she contributing in, his, in her family? Is she contributing in the church? In the church, just say, you know, we don't have anything. We are working for the Lord. Stop it. Who says because you, are, you don't have everything, anything, that's why you're working for the Lord. There are people who are, who are rich, who are wealthy, and working for the Lord. You are going to do that. Of course, you know it's not in this church. 
Church doesn't pay me, and I, <laughs> we are all contributing. So don't be a lazy person. He said, hey, hey, let me just, I will flog you now. What did I say? You don't want to talk. I will flog you now. You must be hardworking. Look for work. Look for work. If me am not a lazy person, why will you be a lazy girl or a lazy man? Uh, you see, I don't need to talk about my, be lazy now. Be lazy. Everybody will, will shame you, disgrace you. Your wife said we insult you. So I don't need to talk to men to be lazy, to be strong, to be hardworking. Do I need to tell you? Men, I'm asking you. Do I need to tell you? I don't need to tell you. Your children will tell you. Daddy, when are we buying Christmas chicken? When your children disgrace you one or two times, next year you will get ready money for Christmas chicken. Nobody needs to tell men that. They know that. It's the women. Many women are lazy. Eh, let, eh, let my husband just come and marry me. Let, do you know what you are saying? Let my husband come and carry liability. Are you a lab? If you're a liability as a sister, say amen. If you are not a liability, say amen. Therefore, you must do something. Don't tell me, hey, you come in, the, you pray. We don't do money prayer. You will go to another church. Go and do money prayer. Where God has sent you, the, uh, the, the, the pastor has said, go and look for what? Go and do this. You will not take that because you are lazy. Very lazy. Hey, let me just do. Let me just do. You go for money prayer. I see some of them when I do my prayer work. They go to other churches for money prayer. Small time they say, if they can give us welfare, I will not give you welfare. Go and walk. Come on, go and walk now. Go and walk. You use Holy Ghost to cover your laziness. You said this one. Just stop it. Stop it. Holy Ghost has been moving me and been leading me in many things. I'm telling you that is it. We people, the, 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 the men of faith we read in the Bible, which of them was not working? They were working. So I'm telling you also, when you have a salary and you're a salary and plan for next 10, 15 years. I will want to do, have this transport. What is wrong with transport business? Very lucrative transport business. Save money and buy a good vehicle. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. I said develop farms, poultry, fishery, piggery. The Lord will help us. Now the last bottom. I said build up businesses tied to food consumption. Food consumption. Build up your business. Either you look for ways to get the food from middle belt of Nigeria. You know middle belt. Brother Ade, Ade Simon's place. The food is good there. Let them be import bringing it from that side. All from neighboring communities. Go to Mbiama. Go to Ugeli. Go to... I hope they see our food very well in Ugeli. Eh? Go to Ugeli. Go to Mbianama. Go to Imo River. You see food. Buy it and come to the city. Some people can't go to those places. Sell it to them. I say either you look for ways to get the food from Middle Bay or from neighboring communities. People will always need to feed their families. What did I say, church? People will feed their families. Look for ways to tie your business to food consumption. The Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Shall we stand up to pray? Thy word is yea and amen. I found it yea and amen. Thy word is yea, yea and amen. I found it yea and amen. Thy word is yea and amen. I want it yea and amen. Thy word is yea and amen. I want it yea and amen. Thy word is yea. 
change. I hold no war. I can never be moved. I stand up on your wall. I am victorious. Thy word is yea. of flesh that they can open to wisdom and be able to succeed in life that there will not be a reproach to your name as if you are not alive as if you are not doing great things we know you are doing great things the heart for them to go out to explore the world I pray that grace be released unto them in the name of Jesus that each person we see himself on ourselves as an agent of change. What you told us in the book of Genesis is go and take over the whole earth. We go and make the fallow places to be inhabited. It needs action. It needs you to move out by faith. Whatsoever we lay hands upon shall prosper. Cause your children to have this deep understanding in the mighty name of Jesus. I cast out every spirit of laziness. Laziness. I cast it out of their lives in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of laziness. 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 I pray for the men favor them, help them in the mighty name of Jesus as they go all out for their daily works, order their step to place of abundance and ease in the name of Jesus. The women also order their steps in the name of Jesus. Those of them that feel they should just stay in the house change their hearts that they will know that they are not liability to their husbands they are not liability to their parents some elderly women, you stay with your parents, you are leaving your parents' house, you are not doing anything. What? Let me come and flog them to the top. Lord, I know you've chosen me to flog people to their destiny. As the world will come forth and we flog them, they will move up to their destinies in the name of Jesus. You will give them the heart to take the challenge and cause a change in their own lives and cause a change in their destiny and move to where you have ordained for them in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, thank you for what you will do. As we go forth in this month, I decree, Lord, great and effectual doors are open before us. And as these doors are open, we will step into it. We shall become mighty. We shall make many others mighty through your word, through prayer, and through example. In the name of Jesus, we give you all the praises. If you are sick, wherever you are sick, place your hand. Jesus was wounded for your transgressions. He was bruised for your iniquities. The chastisement of your peace was upon him. By stripes, you are healed. I command pain, sickness, disease, infirmity, get out of their bodies in the name of Jesus. By the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. I say by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. You are made whole. Amen. All the pains and infirmities in your body, I command them out in the name of Jesus. Amen. I release the grace as a winner over your life. The grace to subdue to subdue principalities and power Amen. and then throw the kingdom of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Go and do that in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will succeed. Hallelujah. You will excel. Amen. You will make it. Amen.
thank you lord for answer prayers in jesus mighty name we are praying amen